Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 18, and this is war number eight, and we're going up against an alliance called Aiding the Resistance. So I've already scouted out my path, and I have decided who to go in here with. Uh, it's a team that I've been playing around with, and uh, I take path one. If you've been watching my videos, you already know, but I have to say that just in case someone is new to the videos. Uh, so I take path one, and you'll notice that they did not place a defender on that first node. That is common. So I only had one fight on my path in a section one. And this is going to be a bishop. Now, if you're not careful, bishop can wreck you. He can wreck you hard. But Gladiator Hulk is king of this path. I have not met a champion yet on this path that he cannot defeat on this path. Um, it's a starburst path, so he's doing a lot more damage and he's healing up instantly like 70% of the damage that he takes. So he is absolutely the best option for path one. And a lot of alliances know that which is why they don't put the strong defenders on that path because it won't really make a difference. All right, and I couldn't fight this warlock. As you can see, um, he's not cleared yet. So no sneaking in and uh, snagging that mini. So when I got back, of course, they had already cleared it out. And the mini uh, from the middle are all cleared. So I'm free to go ahead and jump into section two, path two. And as you see there, this is not so common. They didn't place a defender on that first node. So again, I only had one fight uh, to fight on my path. Now, this means that my champions are in pretty good shape. So I can take a mini or two if I need to. But what happens a lot is my alliance mates will discuss it early on who's going to take what mini but whoever has the best option for a particular mini that's who's going to take it they'll boost up clear their path and the mini and then go on about their day okay so sometimes we have one person do all three of the minis uh, on the left hand side by themselves okay it happens, it just depends on what shape they're in and uh, who the defenders are on those minis. But as you can see, I was able to take down my opponent, no problem, and I was eyeing this Dormammu. Okay, now this Dormammu, I could take with Gladiator Hulk. However, he wasn't cleared at the time and they had options and they just went ahead and took out that Dormammu. Um, as well as the little mini here. So now I have only fought two times and I'm itching for a fight and I've been eyeing that cord. I wanted to tentacle slap him when I went in there scouting my path and I saw him. And so I was hoping nobody touched him. I should have just said, hey, leave that cord for me. But uh, I just waited and as soon as I saw he was clear, it was on and popping. So you saw I just put a little little boost, not much. So the thing with Korg and the way that I fight him is I bait out a lot of his heavies and special attacks. So you'll notice I'm not trying to parry him really, you know, and I'm just taking these hits. Now his, you know, shield was shattered, so now you can uh, parry him. But you'll notice when it's up, Watch what I do, okay? It's up now, so look at what I do. I'm baiting out, you know, evade that special one, okay? And you'll notice I'm not gonna try to parry him until that shield is shattered. Okay, now here, all right, we baited out the special two, and we're just going in, okay? I'm not trying to get too many heavies off, uh, but when the shield is shattered, that's when I can do it. Like right here, I could have done it. Uh, but I decided not to bait out another special two. Okay, he's got the shield up. And I went for a special one. Give me a little life back. All right, and we're just wrecking him. 
Okay, uh, Omega Red is awesome for fighting Korg. Uh, so is Havoc. So is uh, Namor. All options. All right, and boom. Down goes Korg. So I was at least able to fight one of those minis. But that was, what, three fights for the entire war. Nice, relaxed, easy um, but like I said, or I will say, uh, cause I've already recorded that part of the, uh, video. Uh, but when we get back, uh, I'll talk more about, uh, the next war and what you're going to see there. But, uh, just briefly more fights. That's what you're going to see in the next war video after this one. All right. So now you see that I, I'm looking at that void. I'm not taking on void when I have suicides on. Not going to do it. Um, because that is suicide. Unless you have somebody that, you know, is immune, then you might be able to, to do that. But yeah, I was not about to, uh, to do that. Uh, my Omega Red probably could have done it, um, but I wasn't going to chance it. You know, there are people that will come in here and they have the options. We also have backup. And once everybody has gotten down everything, he'll look in here and say, oh, it's a void. All right. I know who to bring in for void. And they'll bring in someone just for that many and possibly the boss as well. All right. So uh, I did not mess with that void. Someone else took that void down. Now. I don't often show this screen here, but I wanted you to see how close this war is. So everybody is boosting up. We really want to win this war. We are trying to maintain our winning streak. Uh, we know that we're capable of doing platinum level wars, uh, even though we're not currently platinum. So it's a really close war. So we're going to take a little intermission and we'll be back and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So far this season, we have not lost a single war and we're going to try to hit platinum. Uh, we don't know if it's out of our reach or not, but we're going to try it. And that means that I can't place with suicides as I have been, which means I'm going to use up about 60 units for the rest of the season each time I place my defense because I'm not going to stop uh, running my suicides. I need those suicides on or else I am so demoralized I don't even feel like doing arena without the suicides because it's just so much slower. Just, I just don't like it. Um, but we're at tier six in this war, but we actually jumped a tier after this war. Uh, so in that video, I'll talk about it, uh, but I didn't notice. And so the fights are going to become more challenging. They're gonna be uh, nodes that we were used to when we were at the platinum level. And we're gonna try to get there. We are. Uh, at tier five in the next war and uh, the fights are definitely harder and the defenders are harder. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed Alliance War. Um, I don't have any extra fights for this video, but next war that one is going to make up for it. Not only did I fight more often, but I do have a bonus fight. Uh, one of my alliance mates went up against Iron Man Infinity War, and uh, you'll have that fight in there as well, uh, that mini. But take care. Uh, leave a comment. If you have any comments on any of the fights that I uh, engaged in here, if you have some uh, critiques, uh, any information, you know, feel free to share it. Uh, I'm always game to learn uh, how to fight better. 
So if you have any tips or strategies, let me know. So you all have a blessed day.